Okay, this is how I got my first pharma job, my first regulatory affairs job interview. A recruiter reached out to me. They saw my resume, I believe on Monster, or ZipRecruiter, or Indeed, one of those places, because I always keep my resumes uploaded on those platforms, just in case. At the time, I was working as an immunology associate at the Yale New Haven Health Center. In the interview, the interviewer was asking me if I was familiar with regulatory affairs, if I had ever worked with the FDA before, and I obviously had not. But what I did tell them was, number one, pharmacy technicians enforce and follow state, local, and federal regulations. So it would be easy for me to take what I have learned as a pharmacy technician in enforcing those laws and regulations and implement them into enforcing the different regulations for biologics and small molecules. Which is true. I feel like if you're a pharmacy technician at CVS, at a hospital, wherever, you can definitely enter industry because I feel like it gives you a different type of skill set. You're able to work under pressure. You're able to deal with different personalities because you have to deal with so many crazy patients. The second thing I told them during the interview is that I was very familiar with various drugs and biologics and medical terminology, which is true. As a pharmacy technician, the amount of information going through your brain, the amount of medications that I still remember to this day, like why do I know that warfarin and coumadin are the same thing? Why don't I know what gabapentin is meant for? Why do I know how to make a TPN? Because I did all that as a farm tech at CVS as well as a farm tech in the hospital. The third thing that I said was that I've trained other techs which showcased my leadership skills. It also showcased that I was a fast learner and I could take what I learned in a short period of time and teach other people. Literally all these three things and how I said it in the interview was the only reason why they gave me that regulatory affairs job. Of course, I also had to have my bachelor's of science. You have to have some sort of degree in order to work in regulatory affairs, especially now because a lot of PharmDs are starting to move out of retail and into industry. So it's becoming a lot more competitive. But I just wanted to give this example because it shows how you market yourself is really how you get certain opportunities.